Hi everyone, it's Jason here, and uh, this week on Tax Filer Tuesday, I've got a very short but uh, but very important clip about uh, amending your CT600 in uh, Tax Filer. Now, if you enjoy these clips, I'd be really grateful if you could give me uh, a like on the clip, a little thumbs up, and even better, if you could subscribe to the channel. Every single week I produce a Tax Filer clip, so if you subscribe and hit the notification icon, then you'll be told whenever I upload a new video. So as I say, this week's clip is uh, short and sweet, um, but it's basically about when you amend a corporation tax return within Tax Filer. So I'm on the review and file screen now. Now this one is obviously a dummy company, so I haven't actually filed it with HMRC. But if you want to amend your CT600, you'll need to go to the review and file tab here, and you'll get an option here to sort of uh, to amend your CT600. So I think you need to cancel the submission. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't remember the exact uh, exact chain you have to go through, but uh, you certainly go to the review and file tab and cancel the current submission and say you want to amend the CT600, etc., etc. Now that's easy enough to do. Once you've done that, you can make the necessary changes. If you go to your data input tab make whatever changes you need to make within the CT600 ready to uh, file the amendment but this is the key thing that I'm about to show you now when I was on the tax filer support desk we used to get these queries all the time um, clients would make the amendments in the CT600 then they go back to the review and file tab to try and file again and they then get an error message saying that the CT600 has already been filed it's very very common so there's one little trick that you need to do so we go back to the data input tab now you'll see there's a little uh, link here called company information so if you click on company information and we move down to return accounts and computations and there's a little box here is this an amended return now you see I've ticked it now for this example so that's what you need to do is this an amended return make sure that's ticked okay so there's a little blue tick there and then you save the changes back to review and file and you'll now be able to file the amended return so just not ticking that box will cause an error message within tax filer and uh, although it's a very very simple thing it's a thing that's often missed uh, clients don't know how to do it and they get a bit frustrated with the error message um, so that's the that's the solution you need to tick that box that says is this an amended return so short but sweet clip this week I hope that's helped um, I know it's uh, it's a tip that I've used quite a lot with tax filer clients, so uh, yeah, hopefully that's valuable, and we'll uh, we'll see you again next week. But in the meantime, give it the clip a like if you can; that would be brilliant. Um, subscribe to the channel. As I said, every Tuesday we do a we upload a new tax filer clip, so uh, I hope they're beneficial to you. Um, yeah, hope that's helped. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time.